Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to show you how I created these number photo frame collages. So I've got uh, one to zero and I'm going to show you how I created them. So stay tuned. All right, so I created uh, photo collages in the shape of numbers and I've got one, two, zero, and then I've got a page here with um, all of the numbers uh, for you to use uh, without the frames. Now, if you're interested uh, in these number collages and you don't care to recreate them yourselves, you just want them, you'll find them on my buy me a coffee shop, which I will link down in the description. Uh, now also to note that I have just started uh, YouTube memberships and when you join, you get free access to my buy me a coffee shop and you get all my Canva template goodies. So um, let's get started. So I'm going to create a new workspace. So I'll just go to create new design and I'm gonna create um, a new file here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to text and you can use any number you like. Um, I used the luckiest guy and um, what I did is I typed in a number and then I just made it larger and I know this must sound really silly to you, but um, I made it really larger. And what I did is then I went to elements and I put a shape behind there because what I wanna do is I wanna create a clipping mask. Um, so that is the first step. Um, now, whether you're doing this with a number or with an alphabet, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna create the clipping mask, which is gonna sit in front of the frames. So I'm gonna push this behind my number. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade it black. And now I'm gonna to go to my number and I'm gonna shade that white, okay? So here we go. And you can repeat this for however many numbers you're gonna have. If you only wanna do 40, 40, 40, you can do 40, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is um, I am going to download this as a PNG, and then I'm gonna bring it right back into Canva. So there it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and it's now an image. I'm gonna go to edit photo and I'm gonna remove the background. All right, and let's just check to make sure that the background's been removed. Okay, the background has been removed. We're all good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, and you don't have to do this, but I want to change the color of the background of the number from black to white. So now I'm going to go to Duotone. I'm going to go to Custom, and I'm just going to change that to white. And I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna change it to white. Now, I can't see anything, so I'm just gonna change the color of the background on my screen just so that I can see uh, my number and where it is. Okay, so now that I know where the number is, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to crop it a little bit and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna search for frames. Now you can use frames, you can go use grids, it really doesn't matter, it's totally up to you. So what you'll do is you'll grab the frames and you'll start to position them in uh, or behind your number. Okay, so you can um, space them out And if you have a hard time uh, positioning them, don't forget you can use your control key. Now, if you don't want them all the same size, you can make them um, a little, you know, different sizes. Um,
Okay, and you're going to repeat, and you're going to repeat this step until you filled up the number. Okay, so there we go. I have filled up the number now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into position and I'm gonna select all of these frames because I want to add a border. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this because it just looks a little bit nicer and neater. So I'm gonna select border and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select white. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background color to white and I'm going to go to position and I'm going to grab my number and I'm going to bring it all the way to the top over here okay and now as you can see we've got our number here and what you can do also is you can group all of your numbers together that way when you move everything you move everything together um, and you can make it if you select everything you can make it um, larger and it'll all grow together. Um, now the other thing that you can do is you can grab your uh, number and you can add a very nice shadow. So you, you can come down to shadows and you can uh, add a glow if you like. Now, as you can see, when we added the shadow, we saw a little bit of the frame. And if you see the frame, then all you need to do is just resize the cutout. All right. Um, now, the other thing is, um, and now that we have our uh, frames in the uh, shape of a number, all you need to do is find your pictures or upload them and I've got a picture here now you notice that if I try and put the image in it doesn't go in so what you, we need to do is we need to move the number to the back so just go to position and just move the number right to the back and then you can position the photo in any one of these frames like that okay and then when you're done uh, putting in all your uh, photos, you can move the one right back up to the top like that. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye. And don't forget to check out my buy me a coffee shop. Bye for now.